Hey there, I'm Tyler Lunsford and you're watching a review of The Other Brothers, A Poker Trick. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tara Lunsford and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. Now today we will be looking at a poker trick by the other brothers and I want to go ahead and talk to my subscribers just for about 10 seconds and tell you that I'm going to be doing something more interactive, making this channel more about you guys. So what I will be doing is posting on my Instagram. Now you can follow my Instagram at Tyler Lunsford Magic, it's right here above my head. And you can also be an active follower by participating in the polls I'll be posting. So I'll be posting pictures of the effects I'm going to be reviewing in the future. And you can ask questions about them and you will get a shout out in the review and I will answer your question. But without further ado, let's get right into the review. First off, we need to talk about what actually is a poker trick by the other brothers. This is an effect where you take a deck of cards and you have your spectators select one card out of the deck. Now you would try to do this to two spectators so that way one can be the cheater and one can be just the normal poker player. Now what they're going to be doing is selecting a card, the cheater does, they select a card and they put it up their sleeve. They're going to keep this card to themselves, nobody sees it, not you, not the spectator, not the cheater, anybody, and then they continue to do a series of actions with the cards. Now what I really like about this is that most of it is out of the hands and in the hands of the spectator and I think that's really powerful magic. But then they do a series of actions with the deck, which includes the spectators shuffling the deck. That's right, you don't shuffle the deck, they shuffle the deck. And then they deal out the cards, and then at the end, the cheater has a royal flush. Yeah, a royal flush. And then the spectator just has another poker hand, and turns out that the royal flush is only completed by the card that the cheater took out earlier in the effect at the very beginning. They took it out, it's the only card in the deck that would have been able to complete their royal flush, and it happens. So let's get into a more in-depth review of this effect. Is this what it appears to be? Yes, this is what it appears to be. It is an effect where you do a poker trick with a deck of cards. Now, the tutorial for this effect is about 45 minutes long. That is a long time for a tutorial, and the other brothers go into a lot of things in this tutorial. They talk about additional ideas, handlings, they talk about the main handling, and one thing that I liked about it is they even include a gimmick for red and blue decks of cards. Now you would never use both at the same time, but it's just up to you to decide whether you want to use a red deck or a blue deck, which I thought was a nice touch. Is this examinable? Yes, this is examinable. The gimmick that is in the deck I don't think is that noticeable, so you could let your spectators actually look at the deck. You could just, I, me personally, I would just like spread it across the table that you're performing on, so then they can get a like, good look at the cards and things like that. If they want to hold the deck, they can. I wouldn't necessarily say that's a good idea, but if they just want to examine them by looking at all the cards on the table, I don't think that would be an issue. How difficult is this to perform? This is not difficult to perform at all. The sleight of hand in it is very minimal. It is not much at all. You will be able to perform this within 10 minutes out of getting this out of the pack and watching the video. Now the only thing that might take you a little bit longer to learn is just the story of the effect, just telling your spectators what to do and when to do it. So that part might take an additional like 20, 30 minutes, but not much practice is gonna go into this. You will be able to do this pretty quick. What's the setup like? There is a small setup. It won't take you that long. You just have to place your gimmick in the deck and do a couple other things. The setup will take you about 60 seconds, not long at all. Are there negatives to performing a poker trick by the other brothers? I would not necessarily say this is a negative, but something they need to look out for. Just make sure that you have a decent amount of good audience management. Now as long as you can control what your spectators are doing, or at least just keep an eye on what they're doing so they don't like mess up the trick when they're dealing out cards or shuffling or whatnot, then you should be fine. I don't think it's really that big of an issue, but it might be a negative for you because maybe your audience management is not as good as you want it to be. Spectators get to do a lot of the work for this in their own hands, and I think that's really powerful when it comes to a magic trick. What should this retail as? Well, this currently retails as 20 US dollars, which is not bad at all. I think that's a fair price to pay for this effect. The gimmicks that you're getting are not that expensive to make, so the trick should be 
at a cheaper price. So $20 is fine. It shouldn't be any more than that. I think that's a good price. Should you pick this up? Yes, you should if you like magic that happens in the spectator's hands or if you like poker style magic, then you would definitely love this effect. That about does it for this review video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to help you make a more informed decision on whether or not you wanted to pick up a poker trick by the other brothers. I would like to thank Abstract Effects for sending me this product so I could do the review for you beautiful people out there. While you're here, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Take a look around. Follow me on Instagram so you can participate in the questions that I'll be asking about my future reviews. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.